14 years later, a little bit of a difference between now and then, what, what can the audience expect that's different? Well, all of the people in the movie, the guys, half of them have lost their hair. What the hell? That's the question. What happened to their hair? I still got mine. It's crazy. But they lost their hair. That was what I was worried about most of No doubt, man. There's a scene in there where you're, you're dancing. Well, we heard you had a, a, a stuntman. So talk about that scene a little bit and what can we expect as far as the choreography goes. Well, the stuntman, he was there, you know, for Morris. Okay. You know, and Harold, and they, they tried to use the same one for all three of them. And Morris over there trying to look sexy. I hate him. He looked too good. <laughs> No, we all did our dance and it was hard, you know, but I was the best one when I was by myself. So they brought Harold and Harold killed me. He always does, right? So talk a little bit about your, the, this, the characterization, the, the difference between the first film and the last film and this film here. Can we expect anything different? What blew me out, blew me away was when Malcolm did, Malcolm Lee, the director, 14, 15 years ago, he established a genre. Now, there's a lot of individuals that ran with that genre, but they didn't maintain the high caliber of that genre. So by him reapproaching this and putting his stamp on it again, getting the entire cast together with the same amount of enthusiasm and, and desire to make sure that we understand that black people aren't just funny, they are still very successful. And we do sell box office tickets. I, I bet you, watch what happens after this weekend.